Okay, to start our midterm review, the first section of the midterm is going to be over slope, writing equations, and finding y-intercept, okay? So there's a difference between these two questions, which is why I want to point them out to put in your, and you can use these notes, right? So you want to write them down. So this one says simply find the slope. This one says write an equation. Those are two different things, okay? So to find the slope, we only have to do the first part. What is the formula for finding slope? What is it, Connor? Um, not for ordered pairs. Angela, what is it? Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Perfect. This is the formula we have to use for ordered pairs. If we have a graph, we could use rise over run, but we don't. All right, so our labels here are x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, so raise your hand if you think you know what we subtract on the top of the fraction. Go ahead, um, Ashanti. 8 minus 5. 8 minus 5. Y2 minus y1 would be 8 minus 5. Good. What do I subtract on the bottom? Jeffrey, go ahead. Nine minus seven. Perfect. 9 minus 7 would be x2 minus x1. All right. So 8 minus 5 gives us 3. And 9 minus 7 gives us 2. Now, you want to see, can I divide 3 divided by 2 without getting a decimal? No. Can I simplify 3 over 2? This is our answer. This is our slope that we're looking for. We don't have to find the y-intercept this time because it doesn't say write an equation. So we just get to stop. That would be the answer we would want to give. Okay? So that's the first thing I want to point out. Okay, this one says write an equation where the slope is 0 and the y-intercept is negative 8. Ashanti, go ahead. Perfect. Okay. When it, there's no work really to be done here because it tells you the slope is zero. So that one's the one next to the X and it tells you the Y intercept is negative eight, which means that's the one without the X. Now on the midterm, if this is multiple choice, hint, hint, that is not what the final answer will look like. Does anyone have an idea what the final answer will look like? Go ahead, Connor. No? Go ahead, Maya. Y equal negative 8 would be the one we're looking for. Zero times anything is zero. And so math people like to shorten that up. So even though that's correct, if you get that answer, and you're looking and you're like, oh, shoot, I don't see that in my multiple choice. That means you got to shorten it. OK, and so that would be the answer you're looking for. OK, two challenging questions that are in the slope section, slope equation um, section. Write an equation for keyword here is equation. That means we need the slope and the y intercept and we need to write it in y equals. OK, let's start with slope. So this is different because we haven't done tables that are in this way. We always do them where they're up and down, don't we? Okay, don't get confused by that. This is our x value. So this is x1 and 4 would be x2 then. That means that negative 5 is y1 and negative 7 is y2. So we do them, we've done them up and down because a midterm, right, is multiple pages. Normally they will um, take your table and put it sideways to save space and paper, okay? So for slope, we're going to use the same exact equation we've been using up here, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, who can tell me then what I'm going to subtract on the top and bottom this time? Crystal, go ahead. Perfect. And bottom? Yes, excellent. Okay, so negative 7 minus negative 5. You will have a calculator on the exam. Please use it. What do you get, Alexia? And do you know the bottom as well? 1. 
does that divide? Yes. yes. So our slope is just negative 2, right? Okay. That's halfway done. That's right. So on a table, how do we find y-intercepts on a table? Go ahead, Crystal. What do we do? Yes. Okay. So we're looking for where x is what number? Zero. zero. That's right. Okay. So zero, is it going to land after six between one of these numbers or behind this? Okay, now, if I go backwards and I use the pattern, right, 6, 5, 4, 3, what's that going to be? 2. So I still didn't get to 0. I got to go back again. That's okay. We haven't had that, but then I got 1. One more, right? I got to go one more to get 0. This is what I want. Now I need to use the pattern here to go backwards here. All right. So negative 11, negative 9, negative 7, negative 5. If I go back, what's this one going to be? Negative no, nope. negative 3. Remember this, can you tell these are going down by 2 here? Yes. All right, so what's the next one going to be? Negative 1, yep. Okay, be careful here. Going back by 2 again, positive 1. Good job. So what's my y-intercept? y-intercept is positive 1. Do not be afraid to go back multiple times if you have to, right? Okay, so that is what we got. We've done all of the work. These are my two answers that I need in my final answer. What is the equation now? The final equation would be what? Plus one. Yes, that's, this is right. So if you've done all this work, these two answers are literally the two answers here where you have the slope and the y-intercept in the equation. Okay, good? So far so good? Yeah. All right, last one. And so these last two I feel like are the most challenging on, well, some of the most challenging on the exam because they take the most work on the side from you. All right, here we go. Write an equation. So do I need slope and y-intercept or just slope? Both. All right, let's go. Same thing. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And our labels, I ran out of space here, so I'm going to put them under here. x1, y1, x2, y2. All right, is there someone who has not responded yet that would like to tell me what I subtract on Top and bottom. Jess, go ahead. Yep. And what's on the bottom? Perfect. Great job. 3 minus 0 is 3. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Does that divide? Yeah. What do we got? Negative. Perfect. So negative 1 is my slope. What letter is that? M. M. Yes, this is my M. Okay. So now this is the latest thing we've learned. What do I do to find the y-intercept now? Liz Mari, what do I do? Yeah, what's the equation? Y equals mx plus b for y-intercept. Okay, what's m? Negative 1. We just figured that out. Our m is negative 1, so we're going to put it underneath there. Who knows what my y and my x are going to be? Alexia, go ahead. Yes, when we get that from this point right here, see it? x1, y1 tells us that y is 0 and x is 4. Now, you, what you want to do is write down the rest of it. Write down our equals. Write down our plus and our b. What else do I not want to forget, Ashanti? That's right. If we forget to put that in there, it looks like it says negative 14. That's going to mess us up. What do I do next? Divide. Not divide. I mean, multiply. multiply. That's right. Okay, so I want to multiply. There will always be two numbers right here that need to get multiplied on a, on a question like this. So negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. 
bring down equal, bring down zero, plus and B. Now we're to the last move that I need to make, Ashanti. What is it? That's right. We want to cancel out whatever's on that same side as B. So in this case, that's exactly right. We're going to cancel out negative 4 by adding it. And we got to add it over here. So B equals what? 4. Okay. All of your answers are there. Give me the final answer. Gabby, go ahead. Perfect. Um, one thing, and I, I'm not sure about this, but would this be the same answer if it were multiple choice? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I can't remember, but sometimes they will, if there's a hidden one, right, in the, in the choices, there might be a hidden one and they'll take it out. Just know if you get this as your answer and they have that as a choice, this is also a correct choice. Okay, great job to start our review today. All right.